Hey guys! So today you and I are going to talk about seniors. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what would you expect from a new senior engineer joining your team? Well, uh, this is a... it can be a little bit of a tricky question because it depends on if you mean a, a true senior or a, I guess I like to say like a, not a, well, what we call the senior today, what uh, consultancies called seniors and so forth. So if we are talking about a true senior, I basically expect them to be able to more or less, after a slight onboarding process, take responsibility for any task that I give them and I should not necessarily have to do much more than explain to them what we're going for and then trust that that's going to happen without much effort on my part if I'm the tech lead for example. That's a true senior. Basically they're going to tell, uh, going to tell me if there's something that's on their mind, they're going to be efficient at communicating ideas and spot things in the code or spot things within the system and so forth, make suggestions etc etc it's the sort of person uh, I usually to say to people that that's the that's the reason why you hire a senior a senior should be an insurance policy is that if they're involved the project will meet success and most of the time that's not really how seniors act. Um, it's very difficult to find what I call true seniors. It's much easier to find the other type, which is like just what we call seniors to me, but this is just a mid-level software developer. Uh, pe most people never progress from this state. And a mid-level software developer or a quote-unquote senior, uh, the thing that you expect from them is basically that they are going to be self-reliant that's the thing. You need to usually give them direction, you need to sort of... you can basically assume that they can do the job without getting necessarily a lot of help. Like everybody needs help guys in the beginning of things, everybody needs an onboarding process and things like that, it doesn't matter if you're a senior or a junior or whatever you are. But once you are at that state there where you sort of know where everything is and so forth, you're as a senior you're basically expected to just be able to produce. Uh, if you find that they, per like, I mean, to me, it's not a, a senior software developer. This is a definition that you can use, which is, I think, true for most companies. Junior is an individual who doesn't really necessarily have the skill set to finish every task that they are given without support. Basically, you need to help them because they get stuck quite often in many cases. Mid levels are usually people who can. Uh, do most things by themselves like that's what I'm saying like you don't really need to go in and check and do a lot of pair programming with them just so that they can unblock themselves and that's usually what people call a senior today but to me that's just a mid-level and as I said true seniors are an insurance policy if I have a true senior then I know that I basically don't even have to write some of the stories because they can write them themselves so they and they understand that they need to align with me who is like the stakeholder or whatever etc etc they know how to get results rather than just do the coding that's what I would uh, expect basically and you would be surprised at how difficult it is to find uh, what I call true seniors. Uh, usually you just find mid-levels who have a lot of experience and so forth but you can't really trust that things are going to uh, just turn out well because it's, it's very common that most software developers define like uh, what they do as I write code but the reality isn't that that's, that's not why I hire you it's uh, when you hire a real senior software developer you basically expect them to be able to make the whole machinery move efficiently and there's really no substitute for that in my opinion so at the very least which you sort of your condition to this in my opinion at the very least you should be able to expect that they're not a burden on the team and that they can provide support 
to the people like juniors uh, so that they get the support that they need. That's the bare, bare minimum, I argue, that I would need from a senior in order to call them a senior. I talked to quite a lot of software developers uh, in interviews and things like that who are applying for senior positions and then you do an interview with them and you can immediately hear that they don't even know some of their own tools, which means that once like they're in the the, in their working, you can't really trust that. I mean, they can't even. You can't even trust that they're going to be able to figure out themselves how to unblock their own stories. And it's not. I, I've I've lost count, guys. I have of how many times I've worked with quote unquote seniors, who basically need me to sit down with them and debug their code for them because they don't know how to figure it out, and so that's the level most people would put you in terms of seniority. So if you're looking to use the term senior, really just like the bare minimum is, can you within your expert area, whatever you're doing back end, front end, whatever stack you're using, can you more or less almost, there are of course exceptions to this rule, but can you more or less always produce by yourself? Can I trust that if I give you a story card, you will finish that thing and if you have any questions or anything like that you will raise them uh, but can can you do that without being stuck uh, over and over and over so what I want you to take away from this is that the minimum thing I would expect from a senior joining my team is that they're autonomous basically I, I should not have to uh, take time to help them with their own coding they should be able to do that uh, onboarding and everything like that you always need that you always need to talk to people and so forth guys so it's not about you know if you have a question you're not a senior it's a it's more like are you on average able to solve problems and figure out things yourself or do you need assistance quite often uh, if you need assistance more often than not then yeah then you're probably not going to be a good fit because when you pay people for like the title senior you're basically just looking for a return on investment usually so having questions every now and then is perfectly fine or rubber ducking and so forth but you should more or less be able to be autonomous which is the same I argue this is where I am a little bit fussy, uh, in my opinion. The, I require more of a real senior uh, when I talk about real seniority and so forth. Uh, but that is the mid-level area, that's what I call, I've said so in other videos as well guys, like that's the sweet spot. Uh, the sweet spot is that you can deliver stories without assistance basically. If you can do that, then you are a professional software developer by the definition of the entire industry. And many people go back and forth between like, what is seniority? Is, are you a senior? Are you mid-level? Etc. Etc. Uh, juniors is universally someone who is viewed as someone who needs assistance. So you can, that, I think that's a very good rule of thumb. If you are, if you go to any team and you use the term senior, you're more or less expected to be able to, after an onboarding, produce results without assistance. Have a great day.